A good and cool morning to everyone. Blessed Christmas, and welcome to our Christmas cantata and drama presentation. As we start, let us sing our first hymn entitled Joy to the World. May, uh, may request everyone to please stand and open your hymnals to hymn number 87. 87. <laughs> Give you spontaneous praise. 
and worship because of who you are, because of what you have given us, because you have sent your Son, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as your best gift to the world. And today, we are celebrating, we are remembering His birth. Thank you, Father, that we can join our voices and our hearts in worship and praise for all that you have done for each one of us. We thank you that this morning we can be a part of a worldwide celebration remembering the best gift, the precious gift that you have given us. Help us never to forget from where you have saved us. Help us never to forget that once we live in darkness and sin, and yet because of your mercy and grace, you have pulled us out and brought us to the light. May it be, Father, that as we consider once again the Christmas story, through the eyes of the innkeeper and his child, the shepherd and his child, may it be that we too would respond once again and make a decision on how or what we will do with Jesus, the promised one. May you bless the presentation. May you use the message of the songs and even the drama. May you use the message of your word to encourage our hearts, to lift our hearts again in adoration and praise and worship to Jesus Christ our Lord, who is worthy of all thanksgiving and praise that we can give Him today. In whose name we pray and give thanks all of these things. Amen.
Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? David. 
register here? In the city of David. Brilliant. Of course, you probably wishes to brag about those numbers of subjects he rules over as well. He sounds like a very proud man. Proud? Why, of course he is, and why wouldn't he not be? Look, Josiah. His teacher is on his way. He's the great Caesar himself. Exactly. Now give the coin back. Hmm? <laughs> he is a man worthy of worship and tribute. We can see his power, fame, and wealth everywhere. We can only hope to the last answer. Do you understand, son? Uh, I think so. Uh, enough, Doc. We must finish our work. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And finish, Father, the three sheep are returning safe, and there's wood for the evening fire. The sheep are finally set in Good, son. Then we shall set them for the night also. That is good news. The sheep are so stubborn and foolish. Yes, they are. They have a mind of their own, for sure. They wonder, just like we do. What do you mean, Father? You heard the reading of the great prophet Isaiah in the synagogue. He said that all we like a sheep have gone astray. We have torn everyone to his own way. But the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. We bring our few wandering sheep back home. But our God, our shepherd, always brings us back. He is indeed a good shepherd. God's flock is big and scattered. How does he keep up with each one? I am sure he knows each one by name. Look at the stars, son. Our own King David said, He tell it the number of the stars. He called them all by their names. That is amazing. It makes me feel small. I am thankful the God who created all of this knows my name.
And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary as his spouse wife, being with great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swathing clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Father, why did you turn that couple away? They look so weary, and the woman is going to have a baby. We have no more rooms. It was generous of me to allow them to use the stable. Is that not true? I suppose so. The David is Abigail's room. I'm sure my sister will give us the feeling. Giving up your room is my claim, but your sister will give her room for now. What do you mean for now? Well, son, a situation of great need may arise that will require Abigail's room. What situation could be greater than a woman is going to have a baby? Josiah, those people had very little money. That may seem harsh to you, but sometimes in life you have to make um, difficult decisions. If for someone were in need of money and had sufficient money, well, so they were turned away because they had little money? Because they had little money. That is the only reason I need. We have to pay for all of this some way. You do enjoy having a place to live and food to eat, don't you? Our need is great also. Could we not give just one room as a graveyard? There's no such thing as a graveyard, Josiah. No man just freely gives his needs. There is always a payment involved. May I at least take them some bread and 